guys we uh, got another new one to the channel old one to me um, anybody that really knows me knows me for these type of cars been kind of obsessed with them since uh, just after high school just around high school I guess and it's just probably because it's what I could afford at the time and there's a little bit of an aftermarket for them so probably not anymore we're getting small now but what do you guys think it is you probably already know anyway Yeah, I know. A Cavalier? Come on. I know. It's your sister's grandma's car, but uh, this one, not so much. Not so much. It, uh, it's a fun little car. This one's the second shell I've uh, built. Well, yeah, second shell I've kind of went full tilt on. I don't know how many J bodies I've had. Don't even ask. It's ridiculous. Uh, but yeah, this is the turbo car. The last one was a supercharged car. This one's a turbo car. And uh, we need a motor for it because we had a little too much fun, I guess, two years ago now. Motor number two. I'm missing the bottom half of the cylinder wall. Nope, this will be found here either. Missing the cylinder wall. Again, same shit. Hey, we found the piston. This one actually looks clean, so. Yep. Exhaust set. this Ooh. yeah not so nice so uh, that was on a decent amount of boost we were uh, semi untuned in fifth gear and I was trying to chase the tuner down there while he was dragging that Camaro in his Sunfire so um, yeah we're uh, we're getting into this thing Let's take a look at it, guys. Forgive me for how nasty it is. It's been sitting in the uh, storage bin for the last two years. Ooh, wee. Looks halfway decent there. Eh? So we got some Anki RPF ones on the car 17 by 9 so that you're a little bit fatter than your typical Cavalier tire. And it's a four-door if you didn't uh, pick up on that. It is a sedan. So like I said and showed this uh, this will be the car's third motor I don't know if I said that this will be the car's third motor uh, same turbo setup same um, suspension setup brake setup everything's basically the same but this year instead of going factory and starting with low boost and kind of pushing it we are gonna go we're gonna go uh, not all the way but we're gonna we're gonna forge ourselves a motor so we need something that'll hold the boost and not window the block uh, or sh chip third piston, chip third uh, cylinder piston. Just gone through too many of those. The stock ones are not made for boost. Obviously, these are economy cars, um, but they did handle the boost pretty well. The uh, supercharged cars, you could do it all day long. Supercharged cars, you could beat the absolute piss out of them. They'll take it, take it, take it. Turbocharged cars, when you start getting into that 15 plus pounds of boost, it doesn't like it so much. So uh, yeah, I uh, I don't know what else to say. Let's. Uh, Let's get into this. We're uh, we're gonna start disassembly of a motor today, and uh, let's see what it looks like. Let's go. There she is, ladies and gentlemen. 
2.2 Ecotech out of a 2004 Pontiac Sunfire. This unit has 40,000 original kilometers on it, taken out of a grandma car that uh, had a rotten subframe and was just uh, not really fixable, not worth fixing. And we vacuumed it off, got it nice and clean, and uh, drained the fluids out of it. Just a bit down there. It's time to rip this thing apart, so uh, let's get ourselves into a time lapse. Let's go. Well, she's all gutted now, so she is ready and waiting for some new goodies. Head's sitting down here, oil pan's already off of it, obviously because we got the pistons out. Yeah guys. Alright guys, so part one of uh, the 2.2 Ecotech Cavalier build is done. We have the motor disassembled and we're ready to be worked. So I'm going to take the block, get it over to the tuner's place. He's going to help me uh, set up the ring gap on the pistons for lots of boost and probably check a couple other things while I'm with them. We'll go over everything, install the new uh, pistons and connecting rods, make sure everything's uh, good there clearance wise and torque wise and we'll just uh, keep on trucking. So. Stay tuned if you guys like the first part of the uh, disassembly and build. Stick around, we got more coming. Anyway, enjoy it. See ya.